Hey, I'm Sweet Lenny. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Lenny. So, some afternoon sleaze, and I'm feeling kind of bad about this one here. Well, you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I did not, but so. I fancy. If you've been. If this, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, I haven't watched a whole lot of the Olympics. I have a feeling like a lot of people are like, what happened? Yeah, a lot of people were wound, I think, when this was going Come on. Come on. No, well, I'm saying if you watch the Olympics like I do, I watch it very passively. I have it on, uh-huh. and I'm not really watching it. And then one of the announcers will be like, she had a wardrobe malfunction. Did the commentator say anything? Yes, because oh. I don't have a DVR. Like, I can't rewind. Okay. So then I started paying attention, which is how I missed the beginning part when the malfunction occurred and the body part was shown. <laughs> so the poor French ice dancer, Gabriella Papadakis, which uh-huh. doesn't sound French at all to me. It sounds like another okay. nationality. Her, her partner actually like unclasped the back of her dress. That is what happened at the beginning. And she had to go on because, you know, she came to the Olympics. The show stand. must go on. Well, I remember when I was in Palms, like, my friend's skirt, it was over pants, but it fell down and we got docked because somebody kicked it. Like, they they have issues for this. So okay. She couldn't just stop. She couldn't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so parts of her body were exposed. Oh. But then closed up again. They managed to do something in the middle of it because by the end of the dance, she was wearing clothes again. <laughs> they had an 81.93, her and her partner. And I just reading this part here, it says, uh, it's unclear if the score included a one-point deduction for the costume issue. Yeah, and they only were behind by two points. So, like, you know. They could have won. Sure, if her clothes stayed on. Yeah. How about that? Where can you see this? On I'm Twitter. Well, sure at 97ZOK. Oh, Justin Bieber and the Chainsmokers coming up on 97ZOK. I feel bad. Well, you feel bad for her, but, like, you know, that's what she had to do. Huh? Okay, so I do have a question, because when I watched the Tanya Harding movie, and when you see this, you might have this question, uh-huh. um, I think it was at the Olympics, her skate, the lace wasn't yeah. correct, so she asked to restart uh-huh. about 10, 20 seconds, like, pretty sure. in the beginning. This happened really quick in the beginning, uh-huh. too, so I wonder if that's not really allowed, or if it's, like, a big risk t- to take to ask. If you get deducted for restarting or what, but I was watching just the part where they showed that like it was hooked in the back, like a halter top would be, and it he touched it, and I guess they had to sew her in it initially. Like this was obviously a bad idea. Someone should have picked a different costume because there was an issue to begin with, and I don't think that the costume. Do they get points on costumes? Well, I mean, like it said, though, there was a one-point deduction for something. But I mean, something. like, if you were in the Olympics, wouldn't you have a backup outfit? Just I just, something like I gotta give her credit for just going on. Yes. Because she had and to And that's what she said. She said it was my worst nightmare, but I don't have a choice. I have to keep going. Wow, well, proper just to her, dude. Uh, which said, is super she, Greek, isn't it? Said she felt the clasp come undone right away and prayed throughout the routine. That's about what I could do. Well, yeah, I mean, what else are you going to do? Plus, uh, you have your partner there. Like, you know, there's a yeah, lot of skate going off on. the ice. And then, and you then, can then just, the like, dance? ask for a restart or something. I don't know. I need someone to tell me if that is a choice. And can what's you a really choice? do that? Can you start again? Well, What's I mean, like you said, Tanya Harding did. I know, but I don't remember if she was docked or what the what deal was. What year was that? 92? 94. It was 90. So oh, yeah, that's right. It was 92. 92, yeah, 92. 92, 92 was the Summer Olympics. 92 was the last year of the Summer and the Winter Olympics were the same year. They used to do them the same year? Really? Yeah. Oh. Then they switched. They did it in 92, then again in 94? Yeah, just 94 so they was not like every other year? No kidding. You know what? It's funny that you say that because, like, okay, so growing up, I knew that, like, the 1980 Olympics yes. were summer. and But 1980 was the Miracle on Ice year, too. Yes. And then there was the 84 Olympics. Huh. I wonder why they decided to start doing that. I forget. That's the real question here. Well. Why in the world they decided? You send this video to my brother, who's an Olympic expert. Here's the most important question. Why are we losing? In the Olympics? Yes. Because we don't have the, the stuff. The ice dancers keep, well, that she's, the ice skaters keep falling. And uh, not attempting, like, big How's the women's hockey team doing? I guess they were better than the, I saw 
My oh, they're better than coach, She tweeted or something today that the women's hockey team was better than the Blackhawks. Man, that's awesome. Sorry, let's not even go there. That's just the person. I don't know. I'm also, there's a lot that's confusing in this Olympics. You know, like the Russian people are yeah, they're there. The, well, they're the Olympic athletes of Russia. And like if they don't, they they're, they skate for Russia or they, they're Russian, but they're not, they don't skate for Russia. They skate for everyone. <laughs> they skate for themselves. <laughs> so I'm not really they sure. They don't skate for the country. I'm not really sure either, but that's, I think. I guess it's the, nice to the athletes that they're still able to go. Yeah, but, I mean, it's not the athlete's fault that they were. Still, it's like the they, people before them. If they them win a medal, that. it's still their personal medal, right? Yep. Okay, that's good. They don't have to share with anybody. I used to want to go to the Olympics. I don't think I ever was interested. I wanted to be a figure skater. Really? Yeah, I wanted to be Casey Yamaguchi and Michelle Kwan and Nancy Kerrigan. All at the same time? All at the same time, which is why I tried to ice skate. Took ice skating lessons. Hey, what's the difference between ice dancing and like pa- figure pair skating? Uh, I think it's like the technical stuff. I don't think they there's do like triple flips. lutzes and oh, crap and this. No, dippies. that's like dancing. It's like dancing with the stars on ice. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a lot more like hip shake and oh. very less technical. Well, that doesn't sound quite as interesting. Well, it's interesting when your clothes come off. <laughs> Well, there you go. And that's the end of the story. And there you have it. Happy folks. Monday. Everything's bright and cheery here in oh. foggy Rockford. So who would you rather be on this Monday? Gabriella Papadakis or Fergie? Gabriella Papadakis. Why is that? Because nobody is, like, saying that she's a terrible at her what she does. That's true. Or that she's annoying or she disgraced America or anything. They're just saying, there's her boob. Do you think that Fergie disgraced America? I personally don't think she disgraced America. I think she was a weird choice, and she's a weird person, and that's what I would have expected if I hired her. Well, what do you think? I can't sing, so I really don't feel like I, I should be allowed to say this, but I'm going to. We all knew she wasn't the world's greatest That's singer. what I'm saying. Like, if I hired it's not like Fergie it was Mariah. to do that... It's not like Mariah or Christina Aguilera or even Kelly Clarkson or somebody like Pink. Like, people have, like, a good voice. Yeah. Like, Fergie's Fergalicious. You know, yes, she's she London Bridges. She spells she's, stuff. She, yes. Like, she she's spells like, clumsy. Yes. She spells she's Fergie. Not, like, she spells. Her name is Stacey. Fergie. Like, that's, that'd be like if Britney sang the national anthem. Yes. We would all get on her because it would be bad. Right. Because Britney's not a great singer. She's a great dancer and entertainer, but she's not a great singer. Right. Okay, I know the Britney people on YouTube. No, I'm with you. I I love Britney Spears. But she's not a great singer. Madonna's not a great singer. But like Christina, Mariah, and, you know, I'll even put Pink in that category. Yeah, she's a They got good, strong, Kelly Clarkson have good, strong voices. Karen Underwood, you know, those people have, like, if they sang and they were terrible, like, that'd be more of a surprise than Fergie being terrible. That's what I'm saying, like. I don't think she. I don't think she disgraced America. So who would you rather be today? This poor lady the, who is relative anonymity, yeah, or but, somebody who was way over their head to begin with? I'd rather be Papadakis. Okay. Why would you rather be Fergie? Well, she already knew that she was in bad. Did she know? Shape. It's a good time to come back. You guys are doing your thing. Now it's fine. Yeah, subscribe to our yeah. YouTube channel. <laughs> what she say? Subscribe to our channel and then and then say hello to Priscilla. Priscilla, come, come closer into the thing. Say hi. It's Priscilla. <laughs>